Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Apparently, National Pizza Day. It's a day of days. Hope you're all doing well. We'll be doing some ghost hunting tonight, as well as getting through some of Chapter 4. I was going to do just ghost hunting. But then I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, I said we were going to get through chapter 4 today, so we'll kind of see how things go. I do hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you for coming to hang out. Each and every one of you. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Finally, I'm getting to a live. Ooh, spent three to four days catching up on those just for this. Okay, nice, brother. Bailey. Glad to have you here. We got good old boy Phil here. Ah. Uh, Will the smell of grease paint... Yeah, the smell of grease paint will still be there in Chapter 6, right? Let's go up to... Gym, we were doing the Jim Boy Calloway questline earlier. I want to get that before we do anything else, I suppose. Oh, there's a dead horse right there. Dual streaming tonight? Um, not tonight. I didn't have time to set everything up. I had to. I had a meeting after the last stream, and I just didn't have time to actually get food yep. and step away from the computer and then be able to still set up uh, things for Twitch. So hopefully things on the tubes don't break today. Let's cross our fingers, lick our elbows. Hopefully we don't have any issues today. Finishing Red Dead tomorrow. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, Phil, you gonna be a good boy today? I ain't giving you no more sugar cubes until you a good boy. Show me that you can handle your sugar. Yeah. There's a dead body over here. What's that all about? Whoa. That dude was getting eaten by a crab. Oh, he's alive. I thought you was already gone. Tell her. I never stopped. Oh, it's Bonnie McFarlane's. Wait, what? Dear Miss McFarlane, I have never seen him in this spot. It's weird. I'm sorry I said it. I'm sorry. You're right. I do let things get out of control in my head. I always have. I always have. I see that, but I love you. We are meant to be together. It is our destiny. I know it is. I saw us in a dream, raising kids. You were very happy as my wife, and I was proud to be your husband. Dreams don't lie, and neither do I. I'm headed off to make my fortune, and where I come back a rich man, to see what a fine husband I will make you. And a father to our children. And no, I won't grow up. On that subject, you're wrong. I got so many things to say. I'm going to continue with the writing of this letter later. But I believe me when I say we are destined for a long, happy life together. Even your father will come to believe it and accept me. Well, we see how that went for him. What love does to you, ladies and gentlemen, makes you dead. You hop on a boat, and then you die to the waves. <laughs> Them gator bites is nasty. Oh, Phil's down here. <laughs> Quote of the day right there. <laughs> Tom, what's going on? How are you doing? That's a bounty for his wife and kids. Yeah. So Bonnie McFarlane's one of the main characters that we encounter in Red Dead Redemption 1. Jimbo Calloway. What are you looking for trouble? Yes, sir. I'm looking for that hat too, boy. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. 
Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a Since couple he's of been days. Gone. <laughs> well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> Them dreamy dreams. All right, we got to locate the outlaw camp. You can need a greatest hits playlist. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't be hopping out of doors in front of me, dude. The outlaw camp all the way over yonder. <laughs> Abigail, oh my god. Why are you doing this? What? I'm riding a horse, lady. Anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed today's stream. If you do, make sure to slap that like button. Like it owes you some tacos. Who doesn't love tacos? Except for those that hate tacos or have never had tacos. What's possessed you? Yeah, you all right there, boy? You all right, boy? Grin Dutters, how you doing? Abarandra. Ooh, we gotta go this way. <laughs> Easy boy. Yeah, also, watch ah. the Astro video from yesterday. I worked really hard on three months in the making and a whole bunch of headaches recording video in a way that I never record videos and trying to get the hang of it. And I'd greatly appreciate the support. It would mean a lot. There's a... It's the best Astro photo that I've made so far, and... Not to toot my own horn or anything, but it's also one of the best photographs of the Orion Nebula by an amateur astrophotographer ever. And I'm not saying that. That's what other people have said, so the reviews are in. Abigail Core for the astro goodness. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you very much. I also made it a lot better. Um, I ended up doing a re-edit of it, and... Um, the re-edit was... I, I fixed a lot of the issues that I had in the first one. Sometimes when you step away from something that you've been working on for days and come back... It just clicks. And... Ha-boink! Ha-boink! Boop! And... Boop! And boom. Brad Hudson to see Emerald Ranch Girl got to be in the yard. Indeed, Brad. Indeed. We'll have to try and do that today. And thank you for the super chat. And Lady Star. The Astro video was amazing. Felt like a student learning so much. Great job. Thank you, you Lady Star. Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> Where's Chonky Grant, though? Okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. <laughs> this is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Comfortable enough for you? Oh, nice rebels. Hell yeah. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. <laughs> now, you going to tell me what the hell is going on here? Phil's trying I to be was, a Phil again. You got so short with me. Actually, what's the fastest way to Brandywine Drop? I was like, I know I'm going the wrong way. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. 
reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to We almost forgot our hat. Sweet baby Jesus. That would have been a tragedy. This is a nice hat. Oh, you were saying? What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. Felicity. And this is an abduction. Horseshit. I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. I mean, we could just drown him. Again, Mr. Grant, ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name, and I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend, and this will all be over. Oh, not for you, it won't be. This is it. Down here, it's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. DH, what a new letter. <laughs> so you got him. Oh, nice, Casey. Hell yeah. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one, didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God! Is he going to whip that gun out of his prison wallet? <gasps> Shot a man in his back. Well, that settles that then. Shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you. Now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on. Hey, oh. Kid Wicked, congrats wow. on the Rainbow Corgi, That's man. Draw, God damn it. No. Yes. I'll shoot you in the face, Piggy. Yet indeed. Still, <laughs> at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm, I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And uh, Vance, you yes, I do. Didn't shoot him. He did. In the back, after he mortally wounded Slim Grant, fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more. Oh, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Mary B, how you doing? How's baby Chalupa? And Ronald, welcome back, man. How you been? Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Double points now. Oh my goodness. Hope you and yours are doing well. I don't want Calloway's hat. I want the other dude's hat. Man, do I love this revolver, though. It is fine as rain. This is basically the exact same setup for the thumbnail I did back in the day, too. Penis Kingdom Edit. And we got ourselves a new hat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Come on now, boy. Does he even send you money? Yeah, no, he absolutely does. 
absolutely does you don't get it until chapter six but he certainly does poor baby chalupa wait we're still looking for that moose wait that's where the moose was supposed to spawn this is where the moose was supposed to be loose and sneaky moose boys Hmm. Baby Chalupa is actually sick today. Oh no. Mary, I hope Baby Chalupa feels better. Oh no. 350 350 is what you get, tree fitty. <gasps> Good boy, Phil. Good boy. You all right, boy. Why do dads feel the need to tell such bad jokes? They just want you to help you become a grown up. Oh my god, Tiff and I, thank you for the dad joke and super chat, you wonderful human. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Gotta go to Sand and Knee. Going on, Scrappy, Claire, Anna. How y'all doing today? horse do I have? Oh, he's got a face. He's got a big old chonky butt. He's got horse hooves and a tail. And bow tie. Looks like Phil was a sh <laughs> Phil looks not sh I am not giving Phil a sugar cube. While walking through sand and knee, you're trying to get me killed. Uh, we wanted to, I forgot we wanted to do the Eagle Flies mission before we do this. We gotta go to Valentine first. Uh, Bowtie, thank you for the super chat. Alright, we're gonna give him a... Gonna, so Phil, I swear to God. You be a good boy now, Phil. Be a good boy. Don't mess anything up. Looks like we got a foggy night in the swamps. We might very well be able to find Ida. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Thank you very much. I'll be here when the nighttime comes. A uh, mango, it works. Been a long time lurker. Happy to get to catch you live. Thanks for the amazing videos. Ariana, thank you so much. Hashtag Lurkers Unite. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the super chat. Oh yeah, we're finding we're finding Agnes. I know I said Edith, but it's it's yep. Agnes. Agnes, I don't know what I'm doing with my life now. Hey, Tiller, what's going on? She should be here tonight. Might be a little early. 12.45? Oh, there she is. Nope. Never mind. Only one line. Don't you dare abandon me, Phil. I love you. Two lines. I don't want to get too close.
We gotta get the ghost train today too. I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna come back. Let's see if we can get some more dialogue. Oh, you know who we need to see if uh, it spawned today? The uh, the soothsayer. She should be over here. If she's here, she'll be over here. Come on. All right, does not look like she's. Sp oh, oh, hey. I can look into the shadows ahead. What the hell? There's here, friend. There's nothing here for us to destroy. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Okay. Go and be strong. I, I just like his okay thanks. It's like, really? Um, each time you'll get a, a different one, uh, Angie. Like a, a different thing. There's also some really cool stuff in... Uh, God, I can't... One of these streams, I'm going to have to do... Where we take Arthur into the land that he's not supposed to be in. To do the things that we're not supposed to do as Arthur, but is actually in the game. Because at some point during development, Arthur w was, yeah, supposed to be able to make it in back into the, uh, um, into New Austin. But since they limited it, uh, basically, if we try and go to New Austin now as Arthur, we just get shot by invisible snipers, which is super annoying. But there's actually a lot of stuff out in New Austin that Arthur is supposed to be able to get to. So we'll have to do that for a stream where I show off all that stuff. Come on. Whoops. Hoping we can catch the peeping toms in Valentine. Oh, never mind, it's daytime. Might be able to catch an early morning hanging, though. Hey, Kim, how are you doing? Nope, still no hanging. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I wonder if the Valentine... Wait, the Valentine prostitute will be at night. Day, at least I don't think we'll find her here in the day. Where the heck am I? What's your goddamn hey, Ronald, pal. thank you so much. Can you help me? Could use some help finding my way home. I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in... Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. For real daughter, uh, Charlie is obsessed with us saying sure like Arthur. No matter how many times she says it, I laugh. That is amazing. Sure. I think I found it. Come on, pal. My house is 
just over here. Uh, I should have misled him and followed him, but I wanted the honor. Oh, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words, and I wish you the best. He just goes to the door and then passes out on the stuff, <laughs> like right in front of the door. You okay, boy? the dog barking at sadly just doggo stuff i have followed so many dogs in this game trying to see if they lead to any kind of secrets especially when hunting down for princess Isabubu back in the day oh my god followed so many dogs that i thought might be leading us to clues that's what led me to find one secret King. actually King. in new Chad austin Wood. there's a foreman his name is danbury is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl hey, under Laura. the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the car. <gasps> I am pressing X. Oh my God. Jen! Got some great financial news today. So sharing the goodness today. Thanks for keeping us sane and introducing us to new games we might otherwise overlook. Being the community near the best, Jen. That is awesome. Congratulations on the good news. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for the super chat and for the support. Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner today. I'm craving tacos, but I don't know if I got taco fixins. That you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. get pizza for national pizza day but it's tuesday national pizza day should not be on a tuesday all right i'm gonna start loading up because taco or pizza tuesday doesn't rhyme all right here we go me being terrible at stealth Not today, seven legs. I see you say an accordion. <laughs> Ain't getting me today. Try for a third. Would it do attack us, seven legs? Thank you for the super chat. I greatly appreciate it. Trying to, trying to get me. <laughs> oh 
shish kebabs. Thought that dude was gonna see us. And step. I would scream like a dying goat if somebody grabbed me from the back just to be safe, just so they would get seen. Talking about tacos, yes, they got Taco Bell quesadilla in my new city, and it's way worse than I used to live. Oh no! You must be Danbury. I hate when that happens, Anna. Like, how hard is it to make a chicken quesadilla? Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Interrogate Danbury. He's so quiet. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil development company the one about the oil near wapiti i i oh that's Barry. gonna hurt think man a mind is a terrible thing to lose especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this oh <laughs> Now, thank you kindly. Now, give me that watch, too. And that cigar. You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Oh, nice, Kimmers. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Oh, Laura. Took the afternoon off because of a migraine. Just woke up feeling better and it's time for a tag stream? Hell yeah. I'm glad the nap uh, helped with the migraine. They are the worst. And Laura, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, on the ground and hands in the I air. was doing Easy so good. Now, fellas. now we won't tell you again. You're pegging out. This is the end of the line. Whoops. Take this. Uh, and Laura. Thank you very much. May your migraines forever not be a thing. No more migraines. Oh God, where are you going, Phil? Where's my boy at? The reticle won't reduce. Weird. Did you get the documents? Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me. They're coming after us. Bots, what's going on? Oh, thank you so much. Keep the RDR2 going. We got a little bit more left. We got a bunch of chapters left, really. Now, thank you, big bots. Thank you very much. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. <gasps> Preston with the big I brains she wasn't getting involved. and the big donation. And leave Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. 
But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. So smart. Getting a taco pizza. That way you're getting pizza for National Pizza Day and tacos at the same time. That's big brain plays right there. Big brain. Time to go, boy. Thank you, Preston. What's this MD mission we got going on? Mother Duck? MD. Where'd it go? <gasps> ah, Marco Dragic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot we got to do the Henry Lemire mission, too. What is this? Fort Riggs holding camp. What is that all about? I don't remember there ever being an icon on there before. What's that icon all about? Has that always been there? I've I've never once seen it. So I don't remember ever seeing it. Huh. And Armando! Hey man, been enjoying your content? Love yep. Red Dead Redemption 2? Thank you, Armando. Hell yeah, thank you. Icon's been there, doesn't do anything? Well, that sucks. How do you finish the Gambler 8 challenge? Gamble! Speaking of which, we should probably do some challenges. What challenges? We did all the hunting challenges. Should probably do the shooting one. Bunger, what it do, girl? How you doing? Bunger, 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 bunger. Bunger, 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 bunger. I always get nervous opening the menu because it likes to die on me. So, ban oh, we haven't done the bandit challenges yet. Hold up five towns. This is going to get us to lose so much honor. All right. Which challenge do we want to do? We want to do bandit challenge, uh, horseman, or sharpshooter. Kill five flying birds while on a moving train. Oh, God, I remember that one. That makes you lose honor, too. Bandit? Y'all want me to be a bandit, huh? All the five townsfolk. We got a lot for horsemen, but apparently YouTube thinks it's a bad word and bans everyone saying horsemen. That's so weird. Also, Wakehurts and Heather, how are you doing today? Laura Mani, what's going on? Speaking of card games, I was supposed to get all of my uh, Zendikar, or not Zendikar, uh, Paldheim collector's boosters in today, or set boosters, and I don't think I've got them. I don't know if we got a delivery yet. So most of them are for horsemen. They just got all banned. We'll do some horseman challenges while running around doing horse boy things. Bandit challenge? We'll do a little bit of both. So what's our first horse boy challenge? Phil is not going to be good at the horse boy challenges, by the way. Uh, ride from Valentine to Rhodes in less than five minutes. God, I don't, I don't know if Phil can run that fast. Phil, my boy. We got to get you that extra speed. How you doing, boy? We got to go, we got to do the other, um, the other horse race. I have not run into the other horse race person. I ran to, I ran into the one down in Le Moyne, but I still haven't encountered the one yeah. that is not in Le Moyne. Easy boy. Uh, Bowtie Armando Preston, thank you all yeah. so much. Uh, you know what, Andrew? That's a good point. Yeah, you all right there, boy? All right, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Who thinks Phil is going to be able to run from Valentine to Rhodes in five minutes? It'd be a Christmas freaking miracle. If Phil can do it, 
Bill is going to get all the sugar cubes that he can eat. He will trample all the people if that's what he wants. I don't think there's a chance in hell Phil can do it in five minutes, but we'll see if he proves us wrong. It's not really about the stimulants. It's about just his max speed in general. He's one of the slowest horses in the game. All right. We got to plot our path. So to roads. What was the way we did it before? I think what we did was we ran through here and we cut across this field and then go back to the uh, to the railroad tracks. That's exactly what we got to do because we basically just need to get to the here. So right there. May the teeth in the shell guide you on all challenges. Thank you, Brad. Thank you very much. You okay, boy? I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Last time we played, we did all the horseman challenges in chapter two. Uh, like we completed, I think we completed all the challenges in chapter two. He runs yeah, like he's in tar. There, boy. We got to go right over this hill. Through the woods, we need to not hit a tree on the other side. We have to do all the horseman challenges on Phil. I think that's the only way to make it an actual challenge. We gotta go up. I think we can go up there. I think up this way is the safer bet, though. He's got cement horseshoes on. He really does. Phil runs like he has lumbago. Excuse me. Only I can talk about Phil like that. Phil will eat all of your cookies. How dare you? Okay there, boy. Yep. Even Aragon agrees with me. He's just sitting here meowing up a storm now. Good boy. He's got Lumnago. <laughs> I see you, Bunger. where we need to cut the train tracks. Who's got the timer? Who's timing us right now? Oh, my freaking thumb is going numb. Jesus. You okay, boy? You all rap boy. Oh, oh my god. I, th <laughs> I thought we just ruined it. There, boy. Oh, two minutes left? Oh, we got this. Straight murder in the challenge. You all right, boy. Yeah. That's it. Hey. Who's a good that. boy, Phil? I can't believe you did that. Good job. We need to get some more sugar cubes. Drag a victim for 300 feet. Ooh, baby. Sorry, friend. I ain't your friend, guy. Ain't your guy, pal. This is Phil's favorite horsemanship challenge. <laughs> Hello, Anastasia. How you doing? 3,300 feet. Did I say 300? Whoops. Can't drag him past those guys.
Ain't your buddy, friend. Well, hello, Jade. How are you doing? Dude, I can't believe this guy is still alive. You know, I knew the second I said it, he was going to die. I, I knew it. The second I said it, he was going to die. Don't you dare investigate me, boy! Oh, that's some O'Driscolls right there. Yeah. Them got dang O'Driscolls. Oh! Sorry, dear. Filtered that on purpose. Hey, nailed it. Now we can go kill us some O'Driscolls. Trample five animals while on horseback. Phil got a head start on that one. Swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that dear booty. Get him, Phil. Oh, we got away. You got too aggressive. It's all them sugar cubes. What? Humans yeah. are technically animals, whether we like it or not. So trampling these O'Driscolls. Trampling these Lemoyne Raiders should 100% count. Bill, I'm sorry. Get him, Phil. <laughs> there we go. Peace and quiet. Good boy, Phil. Good boy. Oh my goodness, Brad, sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, you're doing good. Get him. Get him, Phil. One more hit. Oh! Where's that bat? There's a rabbit. Yeah. Oh! You're good. Squirrely little rabbit. Oh, that made me sad. I don't like hurting bun buns. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Went full horse into it. Let's go! Just full blown. Oh, whoo! Bill, you saved me there, buddy. Was that not five? Oh, Jesus Christ! Hell, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh my God, Phil, you all right, boy? Done real well, boy. You all right, boy. Okay, fella. Yep. I scared the turkeys away. There goes Tag trying to kill his master, Phil. Hey. I'm in control of things here, not Phil. Yeah. 
to live? Yeah. Oh. Or bun bun. Come back. Oh, and this one gets to live. Okay, he's a champ. That bun gets to live. I've had the worst two months ever, but Phil makes me cry laughing. Oh, Stacy. So sorry to hear that, Stacy. I wish you the best, but I'm glad that Phil can provide a daily dose of serotonin. Ugh! Stupid birds. Thank you for the support, Stacy. And Mr. Pickle! How you doing today? I love your content. Thank you, Mr. Pickle. Ride from strawberry to sand and knee in under nine minutes. All right, Phil's not going to be able to do that one. Also, Mr. Pickle reminds me of the show Kidding, which I have been binge watching. That's crazy. All right, let's do this uh, coach robbery. For Phil doing so awesome today, hashtag sugar cube fund. Speaking of which, we need to... We need to get to a uh, Phil. I am so sorry, buddy. Well, good morning, sir. I'm so sorry, Matt, Mr. Pickle, Stacy. Thank you very much. Serotonin? Nah, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Serotonin. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, move! Great Scott. Sir, good morning. With you in a moment. Mr. Alden. Hey, what's your problem? You ought to wash your mouth out. I'll wash it out with, uh... This is senseless! Stop! Blood of my enemies. I'm just trying to talk to Alden. Bye. Oh, thank you, Jeff B. Thank you very much. Forgot Glad you enjoyed something? it. Do we have a bounty? Some bills to pay, huh? No, no, we don't. I was going to say, I've been a good boy. Letter from Charles Chatney. Mon cher ami! I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful behind in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Saint Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be See, surprised, but you are one of my only there. true friends from Let those dark and dreary some days. Very important decisions have been made by some Alden. very important men putting their heads together right there. Alden, I'm trying to read. Thank you for your help. Yeah, melatonin is sleeps. Wait your turn. Almost done. Well, then I swear to God, I will murder your stupid face. Yep, that's the word in town. Well, hello again. I got another one. You interested? Yes. Since I've been here for like five minutes saying I'm interested. In. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise, it's very right. It's very right. Bye now, friend. Bill, we gotta go to the stables, buddy. We gotta get you your horse boy stuff. Will you wait a second? Whoa! You're being robbed, so easy now. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, the okay, mask on. Let's take a breath, okay? You got about one more second. Sure, take it all. I won't get in your way. Witnesses. Yeah, I'll make sure the law puts this. Wait, this is a misunderstanding. Damn it! Hey, think about this. What in blue blazes are you after here? Don't make this difficult. I am the soul of discretion. Go. If I find out you told it, get back. I want nothing to do with you. Ha! Professional robber right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that beautiful robbery. Professional. The, the utmost professionalism here from Arthur Morgan. A 
north up the road past Face Rock. Wagon full of antiques coming from northeast headed for a buyer in Rhodes. There'll only be a couple of guards delivered to Samus at Emerald Ranch. Yeah. Nice and peaceful like you, her. Should have robbed him too. I thought about it. I thought about it. Since we're going to Seamus anyways, we might as well pick up the um, some more dynamite. We'll make some dynamite arrows. And then we'll also see if we can find the Emerald Ranch Girl and the Ghost Train. <laughs> Jesse Monster. Shh. Oh, what do we got going on down here? Oh, it's just the target practice, dude. Now we need to make sure not to damage any of the goods. Good. There we go. All right, Phil. What kind of snackies we got? You want some peppermint? Who's a good boy? Who's doing good with the horse challenges today, buddy? Real good. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Give you some brushies. here get off of there now do what i say and nobody gets hurt we got ourselves a thief what what thought he was going to shoot the horse accidentally when he died. It's like the worst. Fifty-eight cents. <laughs> Not even worth it. Come on, Phil. Let's go. We got some fancy schmancy artwork here. Oh God. Uh. Okay there. Are you serious? Are we stuck? What? The I'm backing up. Oh no. Okay, that was weird. Gotta take a shortcut. Yep. I wish there were more rare wagons like this in the world that we could actually like find and steal. Like just some like and also maybe occasionally being able to find like bank coaches and stuff like that. Just to be able to commit your own robberies when you want, it'd be nice.
God, I remember back in the day stealing like every coach to see which ones were worth the most amount of money, if it was worth it or not. Oh no! What did I break? Everything's perfectly fine. Son of a beached whale. Oh, you might be interested in this. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, some of this cargo's damaged, but, you know, it'll do. You're a liar. Pleasure. He says that no matter like how careful you are. So long. Ten dollars. Let old man Wagner see you wearing that. All right, something definitely broke. I think you can get up to like forty. Excuse me, Seamus. Hello again, dude. What are you doing, Go homie? On, have yourself a quick nosy. Oh, you got something for me? Yeah, something broke there at the end of that one. Silver pocket watch. We got the Rootlinger. I definitely mispronounced Pick that this, this time. Off the street, no doubt. Oh, why am I selling all the gold bars? Don't do that. I just gotta save all that stuff. Pop that under your coat. Goes up real pretty. Real pretty lack. Baked beans? Oh, another? I don't think we need that many baked beans. Alright, one more. Good choice. Nice. There we go. God, give me my hat back. Klepto hat thief? Uh, no. Dirty hat thieves. Oh, I got to read the recipes. That's right. Man. We just want the explosive dynamite. We got the better dynamite. Then also, we need to make our dynamite arrow pamphlet thingy maboober. So where was that? Because we got it earlier, a couple streams ago. Will that put us right back into the menu? Ah, oh, it doesn't do it. Wish it did. Dynamite arrow pamphlet. I know we got it. There it is. When we wanted to wage war with the weathered warriors. Win Ray. Win Ray. I see you. Trying to mess me all sorts of up. Why? Oh, because we don't have any feathers. That's lame. I guess I haven't actually farmed up any birds, huh? 
Well, that was all fast. Gentle with that. Go duck hunting. Nah, we got we got stuff we need to do. We'll worry about it later. <gasps> we really did lose the stupid hat, man. Really? Because we bought that mask? Yeah. That sucks. I like that hat. It might be under found hats back at the camp. Back to San Denis. This is where Dutch officially loses his mind. Valhalla back to the channel. Couple days. I actually got a video I got to record for tonight. Um, uh, but Mr. Pickle, uh, we'll be playing a lot more of Valhalla in the lead up to River Raids because I want to finish the story before River Raids comes out. I don't know if I actually want to finish the story. I think I want to play the story along with River Raids. I'm not 100% sure which yet because I don't know how much content will actually be out with River Raids, you know? I guess we'll see. But yeah, definitely been kind of biding my time trying to figure out when would be best to go heavy with it. I got a video or two that I do want to record for it, though. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow Bowtie. And you all will. Now, remember. Okay. Just want Give me money. everything you got. Don't make Quick. us kill you. Mr. S, check that room back 89 cents. Hand over all your money now. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Let my acquaintance get inside. There ain't no money here. Open the gate and give me your money. Ain't worth dying. There's nothing much here. Of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Hey, bandit here. number one. And get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. Nah, yeah, there ain't nothing. Jess, thank you so much for becoming a member, Jess Push. 
There's Welcome no to the community. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them off, fellas. Look on the right. Whoops. Woo, that's some horrible aim. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Come on, somebody hit this fool already! Ah. Look out! Right! Coming out of the back! That bastard must have called in every... Oh, oh what? DH! I won't miss this next uh, shot! Outside the saloon! Oh, damn. Pretty good. We go. are really moving here. Arthur... He's gonna lurk because of work. Down. These beans keep pulling Love me back in. Ah, oh, DH, that. thank you. You wonderful human. The thing's broke. Hold on! And it's my opinion that that is where things started going even worse for Dutch. That's why. I, why do I have the high roller revolver equipped? Lenny's such a good shot. This is our chance to move. Let's go. What? I'm stuck walking. I don't know what's going on. That was weird. actually with the road blocking back in the olden times we need to wake up we'll wake up after we get the hell up okay boss let's move keep getting stuck walking it's weird Running in circles. We need a way out of here. Head for that wagon. You okay, Dutch? 
Took a real bang on the head back there. I'm seeing three of everything. You stay down. I'll hold them off. They're chasing us. Take them out. Look! We ain't done yet. Let's go, boss! Accidentally shooting us civilians. Oops. You gotta go take out Mr. Bronte too. You gonna learn today? Oh, Lenny's in the way. Move! Head for the bridge! Yeah. Damn! They blocked the road! Hold on! Oh, we got some dynamite! Oh god, I forgot about this. Maybe. That'll do it. We're through. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Dutch Next needs time, concussion protocols. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, and we each got fifteen dollars. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need. Want to eat some spaghetti? One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. So yeah, it's, it's of my opinion that this is where things uh, definitely start going sideways for Dutch. Like, it definitely started, like, after Blackwater. Because he's dealing with, like, thinking that everyone's betraying him. But then that knock on the head is really going to mess up his brain and cause him to be significantly more paranoid. I forget exactly what the terminology for it is. Maybe there's a doctor in the house, but um, the amount of times that they mention that and then also conversations of the of the head stuff throughout the camp after this is what I think. Uh, Jeff B, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. And Yolanda, just want to say hi and thanks for being awesome. Everyone, lots of positive things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, we might be able to see a ghost. What time it is? That's a little too early. Uh, 
Yes, we've got Brother Dorkins over there. So you know what? Let's try and see... Where are we right now? Let's see if we can find the ghost train because it is a foggy night. And then we'll head to Emerald Ranch. I feel like I should go to Emerald Ranch first. Yep. I just need to know what time it is. And we should probably go to Emerald Ranch first because we'll get there just in time to maybe see her in the window. And then we'll go down to Ghost Train. Come on. Yeah, Jatina, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that, dude. Now, come on. You okay, boy? So I'm hoping we can see the Emerald Ranch girl in the, uh, in the window tonight. If we can catch both that and the ghost train at the same time, that'd be pretty sweet. Exactly, the Boo Choo Choo. <laughs> I like that name for it. Yeah. What time is it? Ten twelve. See if we catch it. Alright, so the light's on. The question is, will she appear? Super creeper mode activated. Hello, come to the window. <laughs> oh, the lights go down. They should come back on at twelve if he's gonna if she's gonna come out or not. Didn't you glitch into the room? Yeah, I did. Oh, there she is. She's there with the lights off. That's even creepier. I've never seen her there with the lights off before. Oh man, that's way creepier. What? Oh, why can't I zoom? I'm in first person. Oh, it's not going to let me get closer, is it? Well, then. That's super creepy with, with the lights off. Wow. 
Well then. Super spoopy. What time is it? We're gonna try and get closer. And then I'll do the, uh, the photo mode. That's so weird with the lights off. Oh, there we go. Can't believe we got that lucky. One to see her before the lights came on. What does she do up there when she walks back? I think she just goes and shuts the light off, maybe? I'm assuming that's what she's doing. Oh. Oh, that's weird. She's not visible from the side windows. Huh. Weird. Alright, let's see if we can go find Ghost Train. How lucky can we get in one night? First time seeing her? I got you, Doug. I got you. She a ghost or a prisoner? Maybe a little bit of both. Oh no, the Emerald Ranch girl in the window with no lights is totally not going to give you nightmares. <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry. Thank you for the super chat. I didn't know we could see her with the lights off. That's super crazy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? It's a little foggy, but I don't know if it's foggy enough to see the ghost train. Can we find the ghost train with the camera with the lantern out? So we can have a little bit of light. It is definitely way not way not foggy enough. Yep. Dem's the good words. Thanks for pooping and farting. Good job, Phil. Proud of you. Have some peppermints. Good, boy. Cure them butt stinks. Cure the butt stinks. I don't think it's going to show up. Two twenty-three. Yeah, ghosty, 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 ghosty. Yeah, ghosty, ghosty.
I've still only ever seen the ghost train one time. One time. You're being ghosted by the ghost train. <laughs> don't worry, we don't bite. Them gator bites is nasty, though. Choo choo! Ghost train maiden call. If it's not shown up by four, then. And it ain't happening. Yeah. Oh, is the bait buying Red Dead? It's on sale. If you like open yeah. world games, then it doesn't get much better. It's not going to show up tonight. We're going to try and sleep one night. Ooh. And we'll see if we can get to the spawn. I blame, I blame Phil's farts too. Lizzie! I visited a weight loss website. They told me I have to have cookies disabled. Aww. <laughs> Good dad joke. Good dad joke. It's storming. Let's go find some ghosts at, uh... Oh, come on. We'll, we, can we finally make it? Oh, Bulger Glade. We gotta get to Bulger Glade during this storm. And we can finally get those ghosts. Yep. Come on, we've been trying to do this forever. waiting for the storm so many times we've got a storm but we've never made it to Bulger Glade in time okay there boy yeah that's my boy oh Mr. Tizzo I'm glad you enjoyed it hell yeah thank you and also, anybody who um, is into space stuff or just wants to help support the channel, if you haven't checked out our video on the astrophotography uh, of me photographing the Orion Nebula, I'd greatly appreciate the support on it. Um, so if you haven't watched it, please, please check it out. It took me three months. Now let's see if we get some ghost action. Thank you, Denise. Did you know ghosts are terrible liars? People can see right through them. I don't know where in Bulgar Glade we gotta go for this, though. that did you guys hear that
what's creepy is the bell isn't moving. I've never heard it ring before. Stupid bounty hunters. Only here for a minute, but here's a dad joke. Dad says, son, I don't think you're quite fit to be a, a mime. Son responds, why, dad? Was it something I said? Dad responds, um, yes. <laughs> Captain Jack, thank you for the super chat. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. So we got the bell ringing and we got like one gunshot and a scream. I wonder if we come back when it's like thunder and lightning, if that's when we'll get more of the gunshots and voices. Oh God, Phil, I'm sorry. Bowtie, I saw the astrophotography of that picture of Ryan is a true work of art. Tag, good job. Thank you, Bowtie. Thank you very much. I'm super happy about it. I've actually made it better since the video, too. Thank you so much. I don't think we're... I think it's after four already. Is it? Yeah, okay. Uh, Captain Jack, have a wonderful night. Is that Phil making all that noise? Oh, no, it's the tent. Okay. Are there ghosts at the empty Native American village just north, just north, just northwest of Blackwater? So I always thought there would be. But I don't think I've ever seen some. I actually don't remember. I feel like there was something there, but I don't remember what it was. Lightning required, I think, at least for the voices. That's what I'm thinking, too. I think that's what Edward said. We haven't seen Edward in a while now that I think about it, too. I hope he's doing well. We gotta pay off our bounty. I saw OPT featured your horse head photo on Instagram. Great job, man. Oh, thanks, Jacob. I didn't see that. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Been slowly trying to grow the Instagram, trying to do better at that stuff. Uh, also, so if anybody 
Let's check out all of our astrophotography work. Check out our Instagram. Make sure to post all of our stuff over there, as well as Twitter. Jacob, thank you for the super chat. And yeah, everybody at OPT is amazing. I don't even want to know where that money came from. Your mom's house. Hi. You have a good one. Poor Lenny. <laughs> the H's name is now forever Lenny. There we go. Gotta make sure we keep that skull field equipped. So the next mission we've got is with Dutch. But I wonder if we can finally do the... Um... Why is the index open? Ah, Country Pursuits. This is where we finally get to have the gator. It's also my favorite, one of my favorite missions to do some funky stuff with. Where do you learn to make ice cream? Sunday school. Oh yeah. Them gator bites is real nasty. Hey, Dord Bell. What it do? Yeah. Man, I really want that side mission with Lenny to pop up. I just don't know what time it pops up. I only saw it one time and I haven't seen it since. I've only ever done it once before. I knew I should have done it when we saw it the first time. We also got, uh, haven't gotten to see uh, good old Uncle's Bootay. And a seat and a swig, Arthur. Morning. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. What do we got here? Dear Leonard. Oh, it's to Lenny. It's only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight. And already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak. Even to a son, I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. There is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you, but do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as a pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened once more, but this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know or can ever know, or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn how to accommodate yourself to it all useful labor. However menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother, and when I have written, is not, do not say ain't. <laughs> I am as ever your loving father. Back in streams! Oh, in Stearns, Kentucky! It was an old mining town I went one time at night to see ghosts in the bell tower of the church on the side of the tracks. Well, that's terrifying. Sweet baby Jesus, monster ball. Oh, no. And Red Dead Redemption 2 is technically Red Dead 3. Exactly. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning, Pearson. Oh, we got a conversation back here. Morning, Arthur. Morning, ladies. Right. Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Hey, 
No, it's not. Okay, yes, it is. Cool. Yes. Tilly. What's been going on with you? Don't you mean Red Dead minus one? Look who's still here. <laughs> I don't know. I. What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? Mm -hmm. I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Today, Rocco, thank you for becoming a member. Bam, 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 bam. It's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You Makes me miss freezing out. to death in the mountains. Much more suited to supervisory <laughs> role. Yeah. Can you do that? And can I give you some constructive criticism? No, you certainly can't. Keep doing it wrong, man. Everyone's favorite uncle. Howdy do. <laughs> Howdy do indeed. Ugh, Strauss. Arthur, come up here. You want to do the Gator Bites one? I think we'll save the Gator Bites one for uh for the next one because we are about to hit that two-hour mark. We don't really have time to uh to do that one because that one's a bit long. That one's actually one of the longer missions, really. So I think we are gonna go ahead and stop Let's here. Go for um, we might do another stream tonight. I would like to play some ARC tonight or even more, um, I actually need to record some stuff for, for Valheim, uh, but I would definitely like to play some ARC too. I don't have anything prepped for it though. Uh, but yeah, we might very well do another stream tonight or a member stream. Not a hundred percent sure, uh, what's going on yet, but if you haven't checked out our astrophotography video from yesterday and you feel like checking out some different type of content other than just Red Dead. I greatly appreciate the support. I'll even put a link to it. If I can find it. Um, I'd, I'd really appreciate the support on that because I would love to make more content like that. And it would really, really mean a lot. Uh, but anyways, I do hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. There's the link to the, uh, uh, to the Astro video. Anyways, have a wonderful night.